Hey, it's Heather or Subliminal Locks. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be diving into something that affects all of us, but we rarely stop to think about it. Those tiny, fleeting moments that we spend on our phones. You know, the quick scrolls, the instant searches, the let me just check this one thing moments. They're called micro moments and they're shaping our lives more than we realize. But here's the kicker. While these micro moments may seem harmless, they can actually impact our mental health significantly. They can impact our productivity and our overall happiness. These micro moments are short, often lasting only a few seconds, but they happen all day long, sometimes without us even noticing. And while they may seem insignificant, these tiny moments add up, influencing our decisions, our habits, and even how we feel. Think of them as like small pieces of a puzzle that come together to form our daily life. Whether it's checking a notification, sending a quick email, a quick text, or browsing the web, these micro moments are shaping our digital experience in ways that we might not even realize. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about how these micro moments work for us rather than work against us. So what exactly is a micro moment? Simply put, they're those quick split second interactions that we have with our phones. Whether it's checking a notification, Googling something, or scrolling a feed while you're in line somewhere. These tiny actions add up. They're so ingrained into our daily routine that we don't even notice them, but they're subtly influencing our decisions, habits, and emotions. Micro moments fall into four main categories. I want to know. I want to go, I want to do, and I want to buy. These are the moments where we instinctively reach for our phone to get information, make decisions, or just pass the time. Now here's where it gets interesting and a bit concerning. These micro moments can fragment our attention, leading to stress, anxiety, and a constant sense of being on. We're hopping from task to task, never fully focusing on one thing. It's exhausting to our brains. Even though these moments are quick, they have a cumulative effect that can leave us feeling drained or overwhelmed. Micro moments can blur the lines between personal life and work life, making it difficult to disconnect. You might just think you're quickly checking your email, but before you know it, you're sucked into a task when you should be relaxing. So how do we take back control? It's about setting boundaries and being intentional with our phone use, for starters. Here are a few tips to help you manage those micro moments and protect your you time and your mental health. One, set time limits. Decide specific times for checking email, social media, or the news. Instead of letting those tasks sneak into every moment, contain them within designated time slots. Two, create a phone-free zone. Make certain areas, the house, or certain times of day phone-free. Whether it's during meal, for bed, or when you're out in nature, give yourself a break from your phone. It can do wonders for your mental clarity. Three, turn off non-essential notifications. Let's be real, most notifications don't need immediate attention. By turning off non-essential alerts, you can reduce the temptation to engage. Four, practice mindful transitions. Before switching tasks on your phone, take a deep breath and consider why you're doing it. This small pause can help you stay grounded and prevent mental clutter. Five, reflect on your digital habits. At the end of the day, take a moment to think about how you've used your phone. Were your micro moments helpful or harmful? What can you do differently tomorrow? Micro moments don't have to be the enemy. When we bring awareness to these tiny interactions and we set boundaries, we can turn them into opportunities for focus, connection, and even relaxation. It's about taking back control and making our phone work for us, not the other way around. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to comment, and share it with someone who could use a little bit more balance in their life. Let's make these micro moments count.